Hi, I'm Brad with Double D Trailers. Thanks for sharing your time with us. So we're at a show today uh, launching the new SafeTac Reverse. We were recently awarded a patent by the United States Patent Office. This is a combination forward and rear facing design. So I'm just gonna show you some features on this trailer. We'll go ahead and jump right in while I'm on this side. Uh, one thing to point out, we worked with our window supplier for several years. The latches used to be up high. I had those moved down to sort of a mid latch, much easier to reach versus, you know, trying to stretch for those. I like these drop down windows. The bars and the window will fold independent of each other. So you could lay the window down, leave the bar up, or you could fold the window, uh, excuse me, the bar down as well. Now, I did, uh, I did order some window screens. This is an option, but I like these screens, so that way, even if you have the bars down, uh, we don't have to worry about bugs or something going inside or with the bars up. Same thing, because it's not going to offer screen protection. So uh, I wish we had that somehow built into the window, but it is certainly something uh, that we offer. And you can just unzip that when you're ready to feed. Now, we did add a, uh, a rollout awning. This is the two-step. I'm not gonna take the time uh, to do that. We have an escape door here, which we'll discuss once we get inside of the trailer. This particular trailer, white skin, uh, horse head graphic with a uh, black accent. Now, when you order your new safe tack, you may choose the style and the color of the graphic. You can also choose the accent trim. Uh, I can do this in any color, even match to your tow vehicle, uh, currently at no additional cost. So it would really, uh, if you have a, a white trailer with a red truck, we can do this in red and, uh, and it just really makes it look awesome. So I added a ramp to this. I did a piece of gravel guard up here uh, just for the show. This trailer is equipped with a lot of things. So uh, just to give you an idea of what is available, nice piece of gravel guard so that once you uh, lay that down, we don't have to worry about the rock scratching it and things like that. I mounted this ramp a little bit lower than floor height. The advantage is by getting a lower pivot point, it just reduces the incline. As you can see, this ramp is not steep at all. It's really easy to lift it up and down and I can just take my foot uh, up and down on that ramp. So it's a great working ramp, anti-skid surface. These one-handed latches I'm really fond of, much better than what we had years ago. There's a latch behind the door so that you can latch that in the open position. Now this is the rear safe tack compartment. I added a nice handle here uh, just to grab on to move that in and out. This particular trailer at the show, uh, I decided to add a, um, a hay bale holder and just trying to utilize all of the available space. I wish I had a bale of hay, I'm sorry, but uh, you would place your bale of hay here vertically, sit it right on top of the step, lean it against the wall, pull a strap around it. So just a cool spot to be able to uh, carry a bale of hay along with your horses. Now, I'm gonna latch this in the open position. It's a really easy latch to use on that back side. So the rear safe tack compartment has four slots. Actually, two saddles come standard. We added in a blanket bar on this particular one, and there's another saddle rack, which is up in the dress. I'll show that to you soon. Uh, it's enclosed, so you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, your uh, hoof picks and brushes and things of that nature getting lost. Nice set of bridle hangers in here. I love the safe tack compartment. We've been manufacturing this for many years with a lot of success. And of course the advantage is, is you have the entire back of the trailer open and available for loading and unloading. So it's very safe. Uh, you never have to worry about like a conventional rear style tack. Uh, there's just not enough room for you and the horse to get up in here. Even with a great self loader, a lot of horses don't like to load in this narrow uh, space. Let's assume that your horses are already loaded in this trailer and they're forward facing. You'll notice uh, on our uh, show here, our uh, paper, it says your horses can travel forward or rear facing. So we're going to pretend they're forward facing right now. I have two horses in here to unload this guy. I would simply uh, pull on the spring loaded mechanism. It automatically pulls around to the side out of the way and it stays there. 
untie this horse here, and there should be enough space where you can actually turn this guy around and walk him out. That would be in a conventional uh, safe tack without the combination forward rear facing design. This particular trailer though, because you can forward face or reverse face, um, if your horses are rear facing, we would load from the side ramp and we'll go around and look at that in just a moment. So we'd load from the side ramp, your horse's head would be back here, okay? We have a watering system built into this trailer. Untie your horse's head, walk him out the back. For your second horse, unpin the partition, swing it around. Now again, he's rear facing. Untie your horse's head, walk him out the back. So it's very safe for loading or unloading. It's very airy and open. Uh, there's been a lot of recent research to suggest that horses tend to travel with less stress in a rear facing position. Come on with me, camera guy. By the way, thank you, Brian. We're having a good time up at the show. Brian's with me. Now, we did a side ramp on this particular trailer, which enables us to do combination forward or rear facing. The great working side ramp. I added some extra width to the stall. There's a lot of space for loading. Now, if we're gonna utilize the rear facing design, so what's gonna happen is we move this partition over. I added a, a holder up here just to hold that in the open spot. You would bring your horse in through this door, tie him or her up on your back stall. You're going to walk out here close off this partition like so and then for horse number two for your front stall he or she's going to walk in here now we have two points of escape so one is this particular door i also added a full height door so if you'd like to step out through the dress you could certainly do that or you're able to walk out through this door so we have both horses loaded of course i'll walk around close up the side ramp uh, shut uh, this particular door. We have a camera system in here. I don't think we, uh, we got that on the video, but there is a camera so that uh, you can monitor your horses while traveling. And there's also a camera on the outside to, uh, to get the traffic behind you. In the rear facing design, the partition will uh, pivot from both ends. That allows us to, uh, to load or unload from the side ramp. We have fans located in here, extra roof fence, I really love this trailer. Lots of, lots of extras. Of course, Safe Kick is standard uh, on all of the safe tacks. It has a rumber flooring, which we didn't even discuss. One of the advantage of rumber, it's made from recycled tires and it, it has a 20 year warranty on it. Uh, it transfers less amount of heat, noise and vibration in comparison to a, uh, to a wood floor or certainly an aluminum floor. I love rumber flooring. We sell that on approximately 85% of our customers today do elect rumber option in their build. I have it designed so that there's no lip, if you will, back here. And one of the advantages, the greatest advantages of rumber, in addition to being uh, cool and, uh, and comfortable for your horses, is it is truly a lazy person's floor in my opinion because there's no stall mat and so by eliminating the stall mat it prevents you as the user from having to pull lift up the heavy mats drag the things out the back take hose the flooring down allow it to dry and pull it back in rumber eliminates all of that so definitely a great floor something that i highly uh that i highly recommend let's go ahead and i'll step through the walkthrough door into the dress close this off now this walkthrough door is standard that's included in the base pricing come on in okay so this particular trailer we added lots of features you could just pan around on that and I'll sort of begin to point those out uh, we did a carpeted bulkhead wall with some bridle hangers I don't really like the hangers clanking up against the wall while you're traveling it's just unnecessary uh, noise in the horse area so I like having that carpeted area, plus it prevents the wall from being scratched. I did add an extra saddle post 
uh, inside of this trailer so as you can see you can move your saddle rack from the horse area to the dress I'm gonna throw that here to hold the door open but you can move your saddle racks back and forth blanket bars and really set this up ever how you prefer so just a nice little touch windows are normally uh, standard or they are standard in the safe tech two horse bumper pull but in this particular trailer I love the idea of being able to utilize this vertical wall space so I extended the carpet all the way around basically 360 as you can see uh, that is an option now these walls are already insulated standard but I added carpet on top of it I think it just gives it a nice touch uh, really finishes this off keeps everything nice and quiet and clean these wall grid organizer panels allows you as a user there are many companies and websites that offer accessories the accessories will snap directly to the grid and I apologize that I don't have one to show you but there are bins hat racks hangers uh, storage you name it you can really utilize this vertical wall space so that everything's just not sitting in the floor I love having uh, these wall grid organizer panels I added some tie loops in this trailer just in case perhaps you want to stand some chairs up against here you could pull a strap just to you know have something to strap things to this wall grid so that's the purpose of uh, of these loops just in case overhead clothes bar uh, I added in this one it does have a 110 volt electrical system so uh, this operates off of the uh, the camper or the power source we did an outlet here an outlet here of course a tack trunk and I love the way the guys finish these tack trunks off this is standard with uh, with the oak front carpeted uh, which we've got a lot of stuff in here for the show but you know the breaker box we did an auxiliary battery and even a um, uh, an electric jack on the front which the auxiliary battery operates and I'll show you that jack another feature that's standard on the safe tag that I really like if you'll notice uh, Brian the, the floor is actually elevated so our horse flooring is down here our dress flooring is up here so there is a step there two reasons for that one this wall goes all the way to the chassis we're one of the few manufacturers that do that so we never have to worry about urine or water running up underneath the dress wall into your dressing area or living quarters if that were the case the other thing is in a rollover situation by having this wall go all the way to the chassis it really ties this trailer together uh, nicely so a lot of structural support and uh, we don't have to worry about the trailer coming apart or a horse being ejected uh, and another thing too that I didn't point out we have this one piece fiber composite roofing system so it's a safe bump it's very forgiving there if a horse actually rears against it but I did add in a z-frame structural roof support it's every 16 inches and so now not only are we insulated we're one piece so we don't have to worry about any leaks ever uh, we're also very safe in case of that rollover situation were to happen and prevent your guy from being ejected so I like the addition of these z-frame supports that our engineers have incorporated uh, in recent years as I was mentioning the flooring inside your dress is elevated now normally I'll do carpet standard in the flooring I added a mat to this particular trailer and I love the fact that there's no lip here guys that's one of the reasons that we raised this flooring up so you can imagine trying to sweep your trailer out if there's a, a lip or a threshold at the door, you can't really do that. And we're one of the few companies, it's just a nice touch that we do at no additional cost for our customers. So I like that sweep out feature. If you'll step over in that corner, Brian, I wanna show you this uh, Hydro Horse watering system. So this is a, a watering system that has been requested by uh, many of our clients. It's manufactured by hydrohorse.com. We don't make it. We buy the entire system from them, so the tank, and then we mount it with a water pump and some plumbing and things like that. It's a very neat system, allows you to uh, travel and your horses can uh, obviously drink water while traveling. So, and the only thing they do, it's an on-demand system as they press, water will run in and if they don't press no water goes the bowl is very uh, safe so there's no sharp edges or anything there that uh, that a horse can get cut on i like what hydra has done uh, one thing that you can do and i don't have it set up on this trailer but once you arrive to wherever you're going you can pop a pin here 
this is a quick disconnect you can see I've already disconnected that and you can uh, you can actually move this bowl to the outside of your trailer if we had a, a water connector there and just hang it right on the outside so you could water uh, inside and water on the outside this is a really cool thing that Hydra has done I like the wall mount switches uh, just very convenient so that you could step in flip the switch without actually having to reach up I don't know if you can get the vent where you're standing but the, uh, the overhead roof vent is uh, it's a powered roof vent that we call it and there's a couple of choices you have one has the small fan in it which I think is a waste of money in my opinion those are okay for exhaust maybe in a bathroom just to you know let some of uh, some of the, the steam and things like that out if you really want to move some airflow uh, I recommend this powered roof vent that we offer it's bi-directional so to blow in or out it's variable speed uh, you could actually set the temperature here and it will move a tremendous amount of air so uh, you could open the door turn this fan on and really get a nice uh, nice uh, air flow through there okay if we step on around so a couple more things that uh, that we added to this trailer some brush trays on the door you could certainly customize on our website with the features you're looking for I did an outside water spigot just because of the water tank inside uh, a light a porch light I call it uh, aluminum wheels versus uh, the standard wheel I like the other aluminum fenders those are included as standard and uh, unfortunately if you were to ever have a tire run over a piece of road debris and that tire were to blow out these are um, easy to change out you can see they just bolt to the side of the trailer and they're readily available uh, at most any trailer outlet so it's just uh, a maintenance perspective of, of one of the reasons that we use that so there's a lot of stuff set up here involved for the show I do apologize but I do I did add uh, weight distribution brackets to this trailer uh, for a short wheelbase on many tow vehicles we recommend using the weight distribution system we can certainly discuss that more in detail if you have questions the 110 110 volt electrical system includes a place to plug in it comes equipped with the actual cord itself and so that powers the interior light and the outlets and things like that that we have and I love this so it has a light for hooking up at night <clears throat> if you'd like to lift your trailer you just press extend I don't know if you guys can hear that or not with the mic you want to lower it you just uh, hold the button to go down awesome it makes me smile <laughs> uh, I know I killed myself okay that's all I have guys uh, we've got more features on this trailer to that we could talk about uh, these are uh, the skins put on you'll notice there's no uh, there's not any um, mechanical fasteners, no bolts or screws or rivets. It's all uh, very smooth. We use a 3M chemical bonding system, so there's no metal on metal. Uh, very clean. It's watertight. It's very quiet for your horses. The sidewalls are insulated, so there's no rattle behind that. Uh, as we're traveling, uh, all the dividers and the partitions, so insulation means quiet for your horses uh, and also comfort as well as temperature control. Even the dressing area uh, is insulated, so the entire roof. But lots of technology. This is a Z-Frame SafeTac Reverse. And uh, for more information, just visit our website, www.doubledtrailers.com. Thanks so much.